All right, it's uh, Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. Hi, Patina. How about how you guys doing? What up, Jamal? I'm good, man. How you feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. First question I got to ask, where is the intersection between you, Makai, and Kane? Like, where do you, what, what do y'all really have similarities uh, from from you in real life to your character on screen? Like, where? Huh. I mean, uh, I think one of the biggest similarities between myself and Kane and uh, it was probably one of the biggest things I gravitated towards with, with the sign of known was like his, his his love and his adoration for his family, you know his his willingness to try to do whatever he can, um, whether it be good or bad. He, his mission in his mind has always been you know his family, his legacy. So that was probably the thing I gravitated towards and what made the most sense when I started auditioning, especially after talking to Sasha and Courtney as well. It's just, you know, hearing them want to tell this story of a mother and son and what they're willing to do to protect each other. Same, same for you, Patina. Where, where does Rock and Patina meet in the, in the South Carolina or New York streets? Where, where uh, this- well, I think it's ambition. <laughs> I think it's ambition. I think it's um, being a mother. Um, I think it's being the matriarch of a family and wanting so desperately to protect, to protect your own and... Um, provide for, for your family, um, build a legacy. So these are all things that I can, I, I, I have in my own life, right? Like, you know what I mean? That ambition I can really identify with uh, just wanting so desperately wanting, having a dream, because Rock is a dreamer. So I, I identify with her way more than I don't I, um, identify with her. Um, but mostly, you know, she has a, a lot of great qualities. There's some not so good qualities, but, um, She's she's beautifully flawed, and I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm a... You can say anything to me, always. I don't want to disappoint you. Well, I mean, if you're honest, you never disappoint me. Tell me what you're thinking. Let me in. I thought I was cut out for it. For what you and Uncle Marvin and Uncle Lou do. I mean, I'm your son. I'm Defcon's son. Y'all both did it, so I thought I would too. But maybe not. Maybe I was supposed to do something else. To be someone else. Well, I'm, I'm gonna stick on the beautiful because I, I feel like you like now uh, are a street sex symbol. Also, like people, I don't know if people was. I mean, you've always been beautiful, but I don't think when you was on Madam's Secretary, I don't know if the block was checking for you like that. But I now, think, I, I, no I, think <laughs> I think I think maybe it's you know I think it's just Rock's demeanor. I think it's Rock's ability to just sort of like being unapologetically herself and walking in. Um, just all of her power. And I think that is sort of, Rock knows that about herself, especially in, in with the world that she deals in, you know what I mean? She walks as well, well she, she knows what she has, she knows like what it means, but um, I think she walks in her truth and that is sexy. I think that is being able to say, fuck you and mean it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. you know. Yeah, Makai, I know, um... I mean, I know Power Book, uh, the Power Universe is, is successful. I mean, you're kind of like the Street Avengers, uh, <laughs> per se. But, I mean, with Sasha and 50 and Courtney created, even so, y'all had a season one. And, you know, when you found out that there would be a season two and officially this story was going to continue on, you're going to be able to tell more about this character and have more stories. Like, how did you feel with that validation that now we got a season two, we about to, we about to come back out for it? be coming back, back to back. It felt good, man. It was it was exciting to be able to, you know, uh, be able to jump back in. It was it was exciting that, uh, you know, so many people were were invested in the story in this way that they were ready to, you know, find out some more about what's happening with us. And um, yeah, it was just overall exciting. You know, I was I was ready to, again, as an artist, jump back in and, and push myself even more and find out and discover more about myself and get to work with incredible people like Patina Miller again. And um, just, you know, continue to tell this story in this way and continue to, uh, you know, touch people's hearts and 
and allow them to, you know, jump in the mind of just a person in general. You know, uh, you put the drug game aside and you put all the violence and all that aside. Um, this, these are just people dealing with emotions. These are families, you know, dealing with each other and, and trying to keep that all together. So to be able to continue that story, to be able to, uh, you know, just again, be able to touch people and touch, and touch souls in that way. That was probably like the most exciting part of it, about being able to jump back in. I gotta say like this season, you put a new tool in your toolbox. I mean, you already had this, this 50 similarity thing, but I feel like you're doing this little, you was doing this little mouth thing where you talk with one side of your mouth. Like I felt like 50, let's see, see you're like, oh, he got no, man, mouth that's just, thing. That's just us getting more comfortable with, you know, these characters and in this world, it, it, it allows us to, you know, even pull on those, those little tiny things that add that extra oomph to what's happening. It's just, it's dope, man. I, I've enjoyed getting to watch the progression as it, as it happens myself. You know I mean? I, I've even shocked myself sometimes. I'm like, wow. Oh, I did do that. But again, that also just, you know, proves how locked in and in that moment we are that, those sort of things happen and because you know some of those some of those little inflections and and things like that i don't necessarily practice in a way but being around everybody when they're in these accents and everybody's in the clothes and we're in this environment in this space it kind of just gives you that extra you know settle into it so yeah man it, it's, it's dope to hear you say that i appreciate the uh, i appreciate the nod at that it's specific work. He's specific. Everybody's just so the specificity and the choices that people make. Nothing about any of our characters, whether it's the jaw clench for myself or all of it is like for a purpose. And so what I love about this is that Makai is just doing his own thing. He's not being, being 50. You know what I mean? He's really like doing this character and bringing this really like, and you, you know, if you're a fan then you get to really like see all the nuance and like the tension and why he does it. And I think that's the most exciting thing. And maybe I'm getting nerdy as an actor, but that's the thing that makes people like, you know what I mean? Like lean Absolutely. in and watch, to watch it's all the little that. things. It's always the little things. Thank you guys for the time, man. Can't wait to everybody else to see it.